One way you can make football safer is to reduce the amount of brain trauma occurring in practice by limiting the amount of full contact practice. There is a football league that only allows in practice one day of hitting per week. It's the NFL. And yet you go down to any regular city in America and hear mothers tell you their players do four days of full padded practices a week in a game. There's no way that should be happening. There's a balance there. Can you ever make any physical activity completely safe? Of course not. Um, but what's the level of acceptable risk? And what's the level of reasonable reform? Collision sports should not be played under the age of 14. Now, I'm not saying do away with the sport. I'm saying change the way it's played. In particular, take hits to the head out of it. I think it's absolutely insane that little kids are bashing heads with football helmets on. Their brains are not myelinated. Their heads are disproportionately big. Their necks are overwhelmingly weaker than they will be later. And trauma that they sustain often seems to last longer before it clears. I'm not telling anybody whether they should let a kid play football or not. I make decisions with my kid. You make decisions with your kid as long as they're within the law. Knock yourself out.